I think one meat that's kind of underused because people get a little nervous about is the brisket. Brisket. So I actually have two pieces because I'm making a big batch. But brisket, nice little piece of fat. We don't want to trim this off, but it's going to go low and slow in my oven. I am going to use aluminum trays today just because I don't have my really big pan with me. And we have like all of our prep, which I will show you what's on my tray. But brisket is a great meat that can go in low and slow. You can do laundry, you can run errands, you can play with your kids, and then it just dinner is done. Make a quick side. I think I'm gonna do mashed potatoes. All in the prep. So let me explain what I did. I have carrot, celery, onion, garlic, a little bit of rosemary, some fresh parsley in here, bay leaf, dry oregano, dry garlic powder, and a little bit of lemon pepper, smoked paprika. In here, I had some dry mole peppers that I rehydrated, and then I put them in the blender, with a little bit of chicken stock to make a paste. I always have it in the fridge, and it's just a little bit of chipotle in it, and I'm gonna use that as my like moisture on my rub before I put them in the pan, cover, and in the oven. So let's get it marinated. So all my veggies, I'm just kind of doing a rough chop. Onions in quarters. Garlic I'm leaving whole. Celery, it's all been washed and clean. I'm just doing like a nice medium chop with it. Just to go, so it goes on the bottom of the pan. Um, and I'm because I'm going to do this in two trays, I want to make sure that it's all even so that it cooks evenly. These are the pans I'm using. I'm not spraying them, but I am going to divide my veggies evenly between the both of them. Um, I also have two bay leaves for each tray, which one looks like it needs a little more carrot on that one, a little more salad on that one. Making them look even to start with. Whole cloves of garlic going on the base. Probably around six in each one. And then fresh rosemary. I'm not taking it off the stem, not worried about it. At the end, the stem will come right off. And I'm not really using the base of this. Cilantro and some fresh parsley, even there on the bottom. What this in essence is doing is creating a bed, a bed for our beef to lay on top of. Two bay leaves in each one. Now, Let's put this aside so we can get our meat rubbed. See how perfectly they both fit in a pan. I am going to drizzle, even though it has the, the dry rub on it, just a little bit of olive oil. This was the leftover seasoning that was on the pan. Now, even if it's in the bottom of the pan, it's fine because it's going to cook with the sauce. Now we add our mole half on here, half on here. Your hand, nice rub all over the top. Oh, I never grabbed the wine. The most important part to drizzle on the bottom of the pan. I usually use white wine with most of my cooking, but I am gonna use red. The only reason I'm using this red is because it was open and left over from last night. You know, normally there's not any wine left over. But, um, so putting it in the pan, giving it a little shake. Have around this much wine on the bottom. Cover these, go in the oven. It is set at 350. I'm gonna put them on the same rack in the middle and I'm gonna check them in around an hour. This is low and slow. The fat's gonna start to melt. That wine's gonna start to bubble. The meat, that mole sauce is gonna start to go. Let me just tell you something. How easy was this to be impressive and delicious dinner? You just wait. Just wait to the end and you see the end result. Uh, side note, if there's any wine left over, make sure you pour yourself a glass. That wasn't my tip. My tip was gonna be that. Remember the other day I did a demo with these potatoes au gratin and I kinda did a dome lid with the foil. You wanna kinda do the same thing. You don't wanna make this a super tight uh, wrapping because the foil is gonna stick to the meat. So kind of give yourself a little bit of a dome lid with it. We're taking the brisket out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, people. You see this? I'm gonna tell you it's freaking hot. If I could have a fork, 
Someone? Anyone? Want to throw me a fork? Bill? Bartender Bill? Get on it, Bartender Bill. Get me a fork. Okay. Test of time. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That's it. Did you see this? Did you see how it's shredding apart? Our brisket. Oh, yeah. That's all the juice. All the juice. The mashed potatoes I made. I did Yukon Gold Mash. Potatoes, which, first of all, I love mashed potatoes. And the gravy, all I did was strain all the natural juices after I roasted the brisket for five and a half, almost six hours. This is like, where's my red wine? That's what I need right now. Red wine, a blanket on the couch in front of a fireplace. Easy. Easy. Like, and if you didn't want to do mash, you can do polenta. You can substitute whatever you want. Roasted potatoes, but nothing better than that creaminess. The mashed potatoes, so tender.